Okay, hello guys. Uh, this how to will be about creating uh, DLLs, uh, creating multiple projects, referencing them, and a uh, few other tricks related to that. Okay, so before we start, why do you need to create a DLL file? Well, basically, if you are ha having a big project, you won't do all the coding yourself. What happens, usually the project is split into a number of units that each few members of the team will work on that and uh, later on you can combine them. Uh, these units could be DLLs, modules, it's up to, 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 uh, to the team leader to decide that, but uh, you know, DLLs are very co uh, uh, are one common way to use them. Another thing is that you might want to create uh, DLL that provide a common functionality, and this allows you to use the DLL in multiple projects. Also, if you want to to provide functionalities to others without exposing the source code, you can convert your project into a DLL file which allows others to use that and no one will see your, uh, how uh, how did you implement this code okay so um, in this example we are going to create a project that will access a DLL file okay so uh, basically we have this project okay and now we are going to rename this form to be main main project okay and the reason I'm naming this like this is that I am naming it like this that I want you to distinguish uh, this one okay uh, and uh, now what I am going to do I'm going to create the DLL project here so right click here select add and select a new project okay so pay attention here I I I right, I did a right click on the solution and select add a new project and now it's going to ask me what type of project I want to add um, I can select any of these but right now I'm gonna say let's say uh, empty project here okay and now I'm going to say um, for example um, DLL and the reason I am saying uh, or let's call it some kind of other uh, let's call it test okay I'm gonna press OK here uh, okay there's another project called test test N001 so this is test 001 I'm gonna press OK here now I'm gonna right to click here select the properties just to make sure now here it is called Windows Forms application. The type of project is Windows Form application. What this means is that this is going to generate an exe file. You can use that, but for now we are going to change this into a class library. When you create a class library, you are going to get a DLL file. Okay? Now, uh, so uh, this is the first thing. The second thing you must pay attention to here is that the root name space. The root name space is the name you are going to use in order to access the project. Okay, in this case it's, it's the same, test N001. Leave it as it is for now. Okay, so right now, right click here, I'm gonna select add, I'm gonna say add a module here. And let's say I'm gonna call this uh, simple module okay okay so what uh, now this module first first thing here you must remember you want other projects to access the functionalities here because of that you need to put the word public okay make sure to make this module public okay next you should do the following public function now this, we are going to create uh, this very simple function uh, say hello okay so msg box hello from the DLL okay 
Uh, I guess I should call this subroutine because yeah. So we have this. Okay. Now, if you want to access now this simple module inside test N001, uh, well, you will not be able to do so. I'm gonna sh show you why. So here. Okay, uh, I'm gonna call this call DLL. Okay. Now, if I say test N001, okay, it will not get identified here. Okay, and the reason is simple you didn't add a reference of this project into this project okay so in order to solve this right click your main project and select add a reference here now you are going to get a window like this now what does this window uh, tell you this window is going to allow you uh, to see all the uh, available DLLs that you can access uh, their functionalities okay uh, basically you want to access the DLL that's uh, that you wrote in your project this is why you're going to select the projects here and you can see TEDS N001 and then click OK now if you go to properties of your project and you select references where is references here now you are going to see test n001 here if you see this one here you will be able to access test n001 okay and now let's go here now if i say test n0 now you can see it's available okay and now i can call the function in the module which is say hello it's as simple as that okay so I've just wrote this now I'm gonna run this project and test say hello this is going to call this project which is a DLL it's going to go to this module and call the function say hello so let's run this so this here I'm going to call the DLL and hello from the DLL now you might be asking okay you are saying this is a DLL who give me a proof that this is actually the other well uh, that's easy if you click here now okay and uh, copy this path and let's go into here the enter so here this is test n001 as you can see I'm going to the DOM folder debug folder what do you see here it's test n001 DLL so this is where your project is okay so I want to show you few things before I continue I'm going to go to the module here I'm going to remove the word public okay and then uh, now if I run this project I'm going to get an error the reason for that is this module is not public and what that means is the functionality in this module will not be accessible to any project other than test N001 okay so you must pay attention to this so this is public as you can see here and now if we run the project you can see we can run the program and access the DLL successfully okay uh, now what if you want to use this DLL in a completely new project now this is what I am going to do I'm going to copy the DLL only and put it on the desktop here I'm going to start a new project this is a new project and uh, I'm gonna say Windows 71 okay so right now I'm going to say here this is a button I'm gonna call it test DLL now in the last case we wrote the code of the DLL 
in this case we are going to use the DLL without knowing its source code we don't have the project we only have the DLL file so what should you do we need of course to add a reference to it so right click here select add and select uh, sorry select add reference in this case you will not select any reference from here you are going to use browse because you know where the DLL file is and obviously we need to access the desktop in this case it's test n00 so now we have just added this one if you look here you won't see anything okay uh, but if you display the properties of this project um, where are the references you can see test n001 is there now let's just access it so here test n001 dot say hello okay so now if we run this code and I click here I can see hello from DLL from the DLL okay so this is how you create your own library package it inside a DLL and use it in other projects or allow others to use it in other projects uh, it's very easy very straightforward um, uh, one last thing I would like to show you is that the DLLs are usually uh, packaged uh, with your project so right now I'm going to go to the path where the EXE is available so this is the last project 71 I'll go here I'll go to debug folder now look take a look here this is the DLL file okay I'm gonna run the project from the EXE right away call this function and it works now I'm going to do something different I'm gonna rename this one so the file is as good as deleted right uh, it's, it's like it's just like I've just deleted the file now if I run the EXE it's going to work but the moment I want to access the DLL I'm going to get this exception and okay so I'm going to restore the DLL file okay and now I'm going to run this one here I'm going to run this okay and the reason I'm showing you this is that uh, uh, you must understand that the DLL is important uh, to uh, it's important to use the DLL with your project so that if you want to create a package you must make sure that the DLL is included in the package so that you will not uh, this uh, you will not get a, a program that will crash because the DLL is missing or something like that so that will be all uh, if you have further questions uh, send them to mk-soft.com thank you and have a nice day goodbye